Welcome to this short little RL Coop tutorial video, which I'm making for an upcoming public RL Coop event, as well as any future events, because, well, it's just kind of easier to make a video about these things. As for the event that's coming up, I'll post a link in the description once I work out the details. So this is going to be a short video on the basics of RL Coop, how to get started for newcomers and new players, and how to perform the various functions in RL Coop, etc. If you don't know what RL Coop is or want to learn about all its current features and changes, please watch my other video here on it where I showcase RL Coop in great depth and all its RL Coopiness. <laughs> Whatever. Here's what you need to know. RL Coop brings several new controls to the game you'll need to add manually to your keybinds. There are a few ways to do this, one of which is through the new RL Menu screen, which you open by hitting Tab or opening your console and typing RL Menu. Note though that trying to bind certain keys like Controller, Alt, or Shift through this method doesn't work yet. Hopefully we'll fix that soon, but the other way is to go to Advanced Options, Advanced, Raw Key Bindings, and put in the new commands manually this way. These are the commands you'll need to add. Grab, RL Menu, Button B Lean Left, Button B Lean Right, Button B Sprint, and Feign Death. So for example, if you want Q to be your Lean Left key, you'd go to Q and type in Button B Lean Left as the command, and you're done. I know this is a rather inefficient way to set up controls, so we're working on getting everything to work right from the RL menu, and possibly getting the new controls to show up in the normal controls window. For now though, you can find these new key binding commands in the description below. So going over the new controls, I'll explain what each one does. Grab is used for picking up items now, as you'll no longer be able to just run over them to pick them up. So look at the item you want, press grab, and you'll pick it up. Grab is also used for extracting ammo out of weapons you're already carrying. You can grab and pick up decorations that are movable, only while holding no weapons or a one-handed weapon. Click to throw the decoration, or press your grab key again to drop it. Leaning is used to lean and peek or fire around corners while staying in cover, and will also switch your weapon hand accordingly. Sprinting is self-explanatory, just remember this will use stamina as you see here. And you'll become slower the less stamina you have, until you run out, in which case you'll be forced to walk. So, don't run out. Stamina is regained more quickly the less you are moving, and quickest when laying down, so if you're really low on stamina, it might be a good idea to go have a nap real quick. Also note, melee attacks, jumping, ledge grabbing, and wall jumping will all use stamina. Stamina is also your underwater time, so don't run yourself really low and then jump into the lake. You'll start drowning immediately. The RL menu is how to trade inventory with other players, so say you want to throw your friend health pack, click it in the inventory window, type in how many you want to throw them, and then press throw. Remember, you can throw and share everything, including ammunition. Feign death is now used as prone, so you can crawl under objects or greatly increase your weapon accuracy. Staying perfectly still though in prone will actually act as feign death and trick monsters into thinking you're just another dead body on the ground just so long as they haven't already spotted you. Remember there is accuracy loss and recoil for all weapons, and while there's no way to decrease the recoil on weapons yet, you can increase your weapon's accuracy by either standing still, crouching, or proning, proning giving you the greatest accuracy, then crouching, then standing still. Running while firing will be extremely inaccurate so be careful, and always try to aim for headshots as they do 4 times damage with any weapon. While crouching or proning, your movement is silenced, so monsters cannot hear you, allowing you to sneak and go unnoticed. Proning and crouching also reduce your visibility monsters, as in how far away they can actually see you. Remember, RL Coop greatly enhances the AI. They will hear your footsteps if you're running, if you try to switch or pick up weapons, and even hear you around corners if you're firing. Remember, RL Coop is incredibly realistic, so one to two shots of anything will just about kill you. You'll want to make good use of leaning and staying in cover, and even sneaking sometimes to avoid enemies altogether. To perform a takedown or sneak attack, sneak up behind an enemy undetected and strike them with the knife. Most average creatures will be killed immediately, unless it's something huge like a behemoth or a titan, etc. <laughs> when performing the sneak attack, make sure to aim more towards their upper body or head area. Stabbing their feet sneakily is not going to kill them. When falling, be sure to hold your crouch key so that you perform a roll when landing, nullifying or taking less damage than normal, depending on the length of the fall, as the height at which you can fall and not take damage has been significantly reduced to a much more realistic height. To perform a ledge grab, right now it acts as a sort of double jump, so jump, look at the ledge, jump again, and then either immediately hold crouch or go prone, allowing you to grab up on that ledge easier, all while moving forward. Yes, it can be rather difficult to pull off and will require a bit of skill to get the timing right, which is why I like it the way it is right now. In order to wall jump, you must be facing away from the wall you want to jump off. So, run at the wall, jump, turn around in midair, and jump again when against the wall. Crouching does change your collision so you can duck under projectiles or objects, and the walk key will also change your collision but sideways so you can slip between bars or tight spaces. Last but not least, in order to revive a fallen player, select the super health item in your quick inventory, but don't use it. Instead, while it's selected, crouch or prone up to the dead player and press your grab key while looking at his body. 
Right, I believe that's everything you need to know to get started. Again, it would be a good idea to check out the other video I did on RL Coop, which goes into much further detail about everything this mod actually does. In fact, you probably shouldn't be watching this if you don't know already what RL Coop is. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for more RL Coop events happening in the future. <laughs> it's just like, poke, and then whoosh in the face.